just apprehended this rider here look at where his helmet is it's on the handlebars instead of his head this vehicle here doesn't have a license plate obviously it looks like it's been in a pretty serious accident unfortunately no one from the property was willing to give a driver's license and take a ticket for this or to attempt to move it so it's actually going to be taken away on a tow truck there's, there's issues with the steering so they are trying to give it a little push in the right direction just to make sure it gets on the truck without causing any additional damage and it's actually a double whammy at this property because the environmental services of MMDA are now writing out a ticket for all of this stuff that's on the sidewalk here now of course this is obviously a different type of ticket compared to what traffic enforces issue and if you don't pay this you won't be able to get an MPI clearance the team are now looking at this vehicle parked on the sidewalk fully obstructing it you can see the enforcer is already taking a photo for his own evidence he'll write out the ticket if nobody comes it could be towed away if you see this vehicle here you'll notice there's no license plate most often for these kind of modified vehicles there won't be a registration and sometimes there's not a license so the plate shows nothing on the back but if you look on the other side you can see the numbers so i don't know if this is another attempt of concealing a license plate from cctv and there you go, the plate is now facing the correct way. You just have to really wonder. One of the common complaints about road widening is it often becomes parking spaces. So they're now issuing tickets to all of these vehicles parked around the hospital. One of the drivers came out now and said there was a lot of vehicles parked here. That's why she also parked here. But there's really a lot of signages along here saying it's not allowed to park. So it turns out there's a double whammy with that car. The driver's license is also expired. The problem is, the guy here is on crutches. So if they impound the vehicle, it's really going to be a big problem for them. Right now, it's only a non-moving violation. If they allowed the driver to get into the vehicle and drive away, that's the time they would be considered as driving with invalid license, and the MMDA would be forced to impound the vehicle. So they found a resolution, issue a ticket for illegal parking, one of the enforcers will drive the vehicle inside the hospital and then the driver will have to request someone else with a valid license to come and drive the vehicle. And here's something you don't see on every road. It looks like at some point this was a waiting shed but now it's become a parking area for motorcycles. It's lucky that all of them appear to have license plates because if there was no plate number they wouldn't be able to write a ticket. If they can't write a ticket, they're going to put it on a tow truck. See, there are some property owners who simply don't allow motorcycles to park inside. I'm not saying that's the case here, but it is pretty common around Metro Manila. And in comes a towing crew for the two motorcycles without license plates. Sometimes the drivers really don't appear until they see the bike being taken away because they hope the enforcers will just give up when they don't see a license plate. And there you go, literally, they've just come out now but unfortunately it's too late. They've already written out the impounding paperwork and gradually it's been taken over to the tow truck. And look at the difference. People can now walk through without going in the road, without going on the bicycle lane. They're issuing a ticket to this vehicle now. There are signs along the road that say no parking both sides. So everyone has been given fair warning. You see more vehicles over here being ticketed. If the driver comes out, it's only 1,000 pesos. If there's no driver, it's unattended illegal parking, which is 2,000 pesos. This plate was actually facing down at the ground and the enforcer just bent it, so it's facing up. The problem with license plates facing down is that it's impossible for cameras and enforcers to see them. In the past, the only pain you'd feel with a ticket is the amount that you'd have to pay. Now, when you look at that ticket, you realize you will not get your 10 year renewal on your driver's license. And over here, one more motorcycle rider, just been given a quick ticket for driving in slippers. And you'll see the enforcers writing out a ticket to this one, unfortunately obstructing the sidewalk. So nowhere for pedestrians to go except for the road. The driver came out, gave his license without any argument. So quick ticket, then they'll ask him to move the vehicle. And you see across the road, they just stopped that motorcycle rider, unfortunately driving in slippers. It looks like he did have shoes all along. If only he'd worn those to avoid getting a ticket. I just realized that after getting the ticket, the guy is still driven away wearing slippers. And they're now looking at this white vehicle, unfortunately obstructing the sidewalk. Realistically, you probably couldn't fit anything in these parking spaces except for motorcycles. 
what you'll notice is where the yellow paint line finishes why does it finish there because the rest of that is sidewalk and Bong is actually speaking to the security guard now basically advising him to try guide people so that they park correctly without obstructing the sidewalk they just got this UV Express because there's no license plate on the back and allegedly it was apprehended before as Calorum so after looking through the paperwork what they found is that this vehicle, this UV Express was apprehended on Commonwealth but operating out of the route that it's approved for the enforcer did a technical impounding that's when you don't have a tow truck you take the driver's license and you take the license plate the problem is the driver is now driving around without a driver's license and the OVR, the ticket that was issued to him that acts as a temporary license has expired so it's considered as driving with invalid license or driving without a license so what the driver needed to do was go to the MMDA office pay his penalties for the violation and then get his driver's license back so they'll issue him a new ticket now and I think they're going to impound the UV Express Again in this area you can see the sidewalk just completely disappears because of parked vehicles Drivers have started to come out and give their licenses so they can be issued tickets and then just remove the vehicles You'll see there's three cars parked here Another vehicle here being ticketed for obstructing the sidewalk and just behind me mercedes and really there's a lot of signs here actually you don't need a sign to tell you not to park on the sidewalk but there's also signs for the road 